Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today is now very embarrassed, actually, that I forgot to go over these two releases as Salem, Oregon's Haunt have been a big part of this channel for a long time. And I honestly completely forgot that I never went over preliminary invocation of the operation of calling of the spirits of the dead or the guided by fog to the grave promo. So I apologize to Perthro. So we're going to do this now. And I hope everything's going well, brother. And if you don't know Salem, Oregon's Haunt, their split with Realms is awesome. Grimoires of Undead Power, awesome. Self-titled, awesome. I just didn't grab the LP, but it's, it's awesome. Although, sadly... My, like, the LP hole is oddly too small for my turntable. I can't fit it on, and I've never actually been able to play the LP. Kind of a bummer, but, yeah, it's a gnarly... I personally, like, I love the self-titled, but Grimoires of Undead Power was just so... It still is so good, but... This is on Grim Abyss Records, what we're blasting right now. And this is no fucking joke. This isn't, you know, the desert rock haunt. This is, you know, legit fucking real deal United States black metal. But, like, done in the ancient ways of you know, like, legit black metal, and also, let me just read this real quick, and you'll, little, I don't want to give away too much of the mystique, because it really is a mystique, like, those, some of you already know about, like, the Realms box I have, that has some very gnarly items inside of it, but, Preliminary invocation of the operation of calling of the spirits of the dead. This track was recorded in one take inside of a mausoleum. Mausoleum, mausoleum. And there's a couple different uh, dates here, but I'm not sure what they mean, so I'm not going to... Uh, I don't know the Roman numeral. Well... The one Roman numeral should be 8. The one looks like 21. Oh, it's the date it was recorded. I'm a fucking idiot. I'm sorry, folks. Duh. But it should only be used in left-hand path practices. Listen at own risk. So, just a heads up when it comes to haunt. They don't fuck around. And there's the Grim Abyss P.O. Box. I am not entirely sure that is still the P.O. Box, but hit up Gray Sun Records and they might be able to point you in the right direction. As Gray Sun did uh, the second full length Grimars of Undead Power. But this recording, like, I forgot how just good it is for being like just you know kind of minimal ritualistic and fuck it super just evil and dark sounding i i really like this track just based on the vibe alone like it's fucking cool and you don't see that many other black metal bands taking their art this seriously. 
because it's a lifestyle when it comes to haunts, and I love how just, like, DIY it is. And it's always been like this, like, and I fucking love it, like, where the split with, uh, haunt, uh, realms, for example, I all, like, I just, I love stuff, like, like, it's just, as DIY, and just, it, it's just fucking, you know, sometimes you have to take things into your own hands, and I always felt Grim Abyss did it so well, like, just, the track, I Beheld the Light of Lucifer, super fucking sick. And just that art, like, just the cover. Just a black candle. One of those things also, like, keeping in aesthetic and shit, but, like, I love this. Like, Side Realms is, like, carved in with an R. Side Haunt carved in with an H. That's what I mean, like, sticking to a theme and, like, cover-wise. Again, I... The only thing about the self-titled is it's a photo it's a very famous spectral photograph. But it's time for guided by fog to the grave purposely recorded on one of these classic Memrix uh ser DB series 60 tapes. Um I always grab this old one down here, and this is a C90, uh, but, um, these are, I, I had, a, like, I used to have an entire box of these, and during early 2020, for obvious reasons, I didn't have much going on, and I was just making people mixtapes non-fucking stop but i do have to say one thing though on the b side i dubbed myself the charnel oblet carving stone for the dead cd so i could listen to it whenever i wanted to because i love this and i just knew it would sound amazing on cassette especially a kind of vintage cassette and yeah i was absolutely correct but that's not what we're here for we're here for haunt guided by fog to the grave now i don't even know if these songs are available on Bandcamp, but i'm gonna try but i do know that there was some legal problems with the project and I hope everything's going well, but if Haunt has anything for sale, grab it, because uh, I don't know if, uh, you know, help is needed with, uh, you know, legal shit or anything gnarly like that. Like, I don't know what Perthro got in trouble for, but I'm guessing it's probably trespassing or something bullshit because tr trust me like people don't like you hanging out in graveyards i've found this this out the hard way plenty of fucking times like but this i know there's like again just keeping it fucking real like the haunt promo like it's just fucking Icy, cold, raw, just savage United States black metal. Continuing on the tradition of gnarly music coming from Salem. Most people, I feel like when they think of the Pacific Northwest, think of just like Portland, Seattle. It's like, to me, I immediately go to Salem, Oregon. Like, that's just where my brain instantly goes. 
But this promo, like, if you're a fan of second error, early black metal, you're going to absolutely love this. If you're a fan of, like, Valak, probably going to love this. Like, I want to say commodious, but, like, not, not really. Like, it's, it's way more just raw and savage and just, it's fucking, yeah, it's gnarly shit. And, like, I know her throat takes it extremely serious. I know I'm, like, showing you folks nothing. So I'll show you this promo tape or ritual tape. I'm not sure what you want to consider it. But it is a really cool recording. I mean, there's some gnarly stuff going on in the uh, photograph as well, if you could see. There's a little bit of blood. There's a hooded figure on the ground. Yeah, I wasn't joking. Haunt does not fuck around when it comes to certain things. And Perthro is one of those dudes. I'm... I'm glad he and I started talking, because, you know, he's just enjoyable to talk to, and it's hard to find someone that, you know, takes what they do as seriously, and I, you know, appreciate that a lot. Same with, like, Vathar and Realms. It just, it's something that, like, personally, I, I get it. And, you know, it's just, I, I, I just appreciate that, you know, like so, sometimes if you were to tell me when I was like a little bit younger, you know, like just the way social media works that like, Hey, you'd be it you're going to be able to reach out to people on the other side of the country and be able to talk to them about music and reach out to people all over the world and talk about what I think is some really fucking good black metal from Salem, Oregon's haunt. I like the new logo too a lot, actually. The old logo is fucking dope too. It's kind of the same logo, but I just like it. It, it looks great. might be to find right now I really don't want to spoil it for you because if you do find guided by fog to the grave I want you to enjoy that discovery because this is a badass promo and I apologize to Perthero for not going over it immediately and same thing with uh, preliminary invocation of the operation of calling of the spirits of the dead. Which again, listen at your own risk. And this was recorded in one take inside of a mausoleum in the year 2020. Seventh month, I'm 
guessing, and the 21st day. I hope I'm correct. If not, I'm sorry, Perthro. But, again, I do not know if you will be able to get a copy of this. But if you can, it's just, you know, again, don't go spending like $70, okay? Just as, as much as, you know, I enjoy this stuff, like, yeah, don't, don't let somebody take advantage of you. Because, and here's how you'll know it's the real, I know anybody can do that, but th this is how you know it's the real deal, like. And again, I'm sure some scum fuck, but nah, nobody would do that. I was gonna say, so you can technically duplicate, you know, that, but I doubt anyone would go that far out of their way. But you never know. People are savages when it comes to uh, that shit. But Salem, Oregon's Haunt. Both of these promos really, like... Because I know that he was looking to play live and stuff. And then, uh, you know, the plague happened. And then I, I read, you know, about having some legal bullshit, and I kind of felt like, you know, a, a Haunt was maybe working on album three, maybe has album three underneath his belt, I don't fucking know, and the thing is, like, I don't want to ask either, I feel like that's stepping over, I know it sounds lame, but to me that's stepping over, like, an invisible boundary that I set, like, it's like rushing a Funeral Doom artist, like, Funeral Doom, it's not something that, I mean, I'm sure you can get lucky and, like, improvise a Funeral Doom track, and I hate when people, like, are like, ah, eh, you know, it's just, like, improvised, rip a riffs, like, no. Like, to, I'm talking, like, fucking evoking. The reason those albums take, like, seven years to write is because Funeral Doom takes time. And one of the beauties about black metal is you don't have to be the best musician, but, like, Haunt and Perthro are really good musicians, in my opinion, like, just, yeah, really, really dialed black metal sound, in my personal opinion, like, it's what I want to hear, and very enjoyable, but, you know, these might be hard to find, but I'm sure Grey Sun might still have copies of Grimoires of Undead Power, but if you like Haunt and you've heard the Realm Split, you need to get this. Like, this is absolutely 120% essential. And that is the Realm's full length action at a distance inside the Temple of Absolute Human Suffering on vinyl. Um. Holy fucking shit. Grey Sun Records absolutely killed this bad boy. Oh yeah. Like, when I rep my Realms merch, I'm legit, like, proud to, like, wear it. Like, it makes me, like, stoked. And I know that sounds corny, but, like, because Vathar is... Again, he's one of those musicians that just, to me, he just gets it and does it so well. And that's the thing, like, Haunt has gotten the vinyl treatment as well. I just know for a fact that I, I should have got the records out 
beforehand, I just know for a fact that this is where it should be, like, because it's right next to, uh, Repulsion Horrified, but, like, the Salem, Oregon black metal scene, like, yeah, ridiculous, because if you also count the blackened sludge of hell, Mismore, if you go back to, like, Leech, Merkstave, there's just so much gnarly shit coming out of the area, it's ridiculous. But Realms, to me, and Haunt are definitely, you know, worth your time if you're into raw black metal. And, yeah, those two promos, like I said, you know, there was, to me, I felt like there was a lot building up and then there was a lot of silence, but then there was a post a couple weeks ago on Instagram, so, you know, I, I understand, so hopefully in 2023 we get some gnarly shit from the true haunt from Salem, Oregon. And heavy hails again to Perth Bro for always hooking it up. Same with Vathar. Salem, Oregon, Cult Eternal fucking hails from the depths. Just keep on killing it. And you maniacs at home, you know we have Frogmist tapes on Frogmist dot bigcartel.com support because uh we have a new ep as well which you can go listen to on our uh youtube channel and like here's a test of the new ep but uh just you know us here I'll just give you a little taste. Now this is not posted yet, but this is what we are working on. And um, trust me, this shit sounds sick on cassette. It, just, it really does. Because these are room recordings. Like, the way we recorded these, it's not traditional at all for... It's not meant to be perfect, is what I'm saying. It's meant to be, like, there's meant to be feedback and, like, just... Yeah. I'm in charge of electronics. play you a track off my personal copy of MAD. And again, like this stuff, like the whole DIY thing, highly influenced from the Salem, Oregon scene, taking things into your own hands sometimes. But, like, when the drone kicks in on this track, it, I couldn't have asked for it just put a smile on my face. Like, MAD by Frog Mist. I just want to get to the first drone, and then I'll let you folks enjoy your day. I don't have the volume turned all the way up, but... Yeah, 
So those tapes are available, and I'm going to try and find some haunt mics. But thanks for watching. As always, you fucking rule. Hails.